you weren't so screwed, we wouldn't ask for your help. The dude almost drowned me in my own hot tub. You don't have to help us, but it would be really helpful if you could just, just tell, tell us... what you did with the last two pounds of meth. This is the part where you lecture us, because if you could just speed it up you a little bit... You want to be smart ass? You want my help? I'm taking my time with this, because I want you all to remember this. How hard you tried not to have to come to me. Because if you didn't have to come to me, then maybe you could just get through all this without having to admit one simple truth. Which is that I was right. When I told you that keeping the meth was a bad idea, mm -hmm. I was right. When I begged you not to take it, I was right. When I told you that selling it and turning yourselves into fucking meth dealers was a terrible decision that could go horribly wrong, I was super fucking right. I am the one who saw to your survival since you were babies. I am the only reason that you are still breathing and have limbs intact. So I want you to remember this moment so that the next time that I try to warn you against a plan that Frank and Monica thought was a good idea, maybe, just maybe you will fucking listen. Are you going to tell us where the meth is or not, Fiona? I am, Debs. I am. Right after every single one of you says, you were right. And I was wrong, Fiona. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Time is a wasting. I want to hear those words. Okay. You were right, and I was wrong, Fiona. <sighs> mm -hmm. <sighs> you were right, and I was wrong. Fiona. You were fucking right, and we were fucking wrong, Fiona. I wasn't wrong. I took what was mine. I'm not sorry for it. It's how life works sometimes. It didn't go my way. Now, can you please tell us where you put the rest of the drugs so that motherfucker doesn't eat your eyeballs?